Hello friends, Sniz here, and today I have some testing that I did on my Thunderbreaker. This is regarding Primal Bolt and which skill provides more damage while it's active. For those who don't know, Primal Bolt is Thunderbreaker's level 140 hyper skill that allows us to use Typhoon for 30 seconds without it going on cooldown after being cast. This is basically Thunderbreaker's entire burst, so people have been trying to optimize it. Back in June, I did some testing to see which combo is more optimal to use when Primal Bolt is active. Typhoon plus Annihilate and Typhoon plus Thunderbolt were the two combos people were using and not entirely decided upon which was better. Typhoon plus Annihilate on paper should be better as Annihilate hits harder and does more lines than Thunderbolt. But the problem is that Annihilate has a pretty long cast animation and also has end lag after using it. Typhoon and Thunderbolt on the other hand chain together much, much faster. So now that you know that those two combos exist, which one is better? Well, in KMS, at least to my knowledge, it's pretty much agreed that Typhoon plus Annihilate is the go-to combo when Primal Bolt is up. You would think this automatically translates to being the best combo as well in GMS and Maple C, but that wasn't necessarily the case. Due to GMS and Maple C having access to the hard cap attack speed, this still leaves the question of which combo is better. So, as mentioned prior, in June, I decided to test which was better. First, I tested Thunderbolt and Annihilate to figure out the baseline. Then I tested Typhoon plus Annihilate and Typhoon plus Thunderbolt to compare all three against each other. My results showed that Typhoon and Thunderbolt was straight up better and by a decent margin too. This combo was better than Typhoon plus Annihilate by roughly 5%, and it was better than Thunderbolt plus Annihilate which is your bread and butter combo by roughly 12%. So I thought I figured it out. I honestly thought I had the answer, but if you look at the two battle analysis that I still hold, held on to, you'll see that there's some extra variables that may alter the test. So I decided to retest. The inconsistencies I had was that I was using Shark Torpedo, had Lightning God Spear Strike still on, I had the Arc Link skill, I had the Explorer Mage Link skill, and there's probably a few others. Maybe even Fatal Strike was equipped because I did it right after bossing. I'm not entirely sure. The point is, is that there was variables that I could not keep constant. So in these new tests, I removed those variables to keep it a lot more consistent and to see the raw data. I'm only using four skills in the analysis. Tidal Crash, Typhoon, Annihilate, and Thunderbolt. I'm only using Tidal Crash to avoid the 100 attack cap limit that you would reach if you attack 100 times in place. Tidal Crash allows me to move without losing too much time during the 30 seconds that Primal Bolt is active. So I did these tests a few times and I'll be showing you the cleanest tests I have or the tests with the least amount of user error in them. If you look at the analysis that I show at the end of the clips, you'll notice that the difference is almost non-existent. There is something drastically different, and I'm not sure if it's the removal of the variables that helped, or something else changed. If I were to guess, have an educated guess that is, I would believe it is my own fault for having those numbers posted originally. Some people have said that it might be due to the animation and chaining system that Thunderbreakers uses being inconsistent, but I'm not quite sure that's it. I'm pretty sure it was just user error. So, I still haven't answered the question, which one is better? The answer actually comes down to how many attacks you're putting out. The damage is very, very similar. Like, very similar, as you can see. The difference is the amount of attacks you're putting out and the amount of lines that comes to. If I remember correctly off the top of my head, and I'll do the math in the video to actually show it too, but the difference is about like 5% more lines if you're using Thunderbolt and Typhoon. Meaning, Annihilate and Typhoon, which is, I believe, the combo that KMS wants us to use, is not better. And it's actually almost useless, because once you start capping, Thunderbolt plus Typhoon is the way to go. And even before you're capping, the fluidity and quality of life it gives you, since you can break out of the end lag much faster, is so much more important than slightly, slightly minuscule amounts of damage. So, we're nearing the end of the video, but I wanted to inform you all of some last tidbits. I did do a test for the full 30 seconds of Primal Bolt, and will include the results in the description as I recorded them AFTER I neared the completion of editing this video. If anything, the line difference becomes larger the longer you test as you would expect. 
I also wanted to make note of how the original tests I did that included Shark Torpedo and Lightning God Spear Strike have an oddity in them. Even though Shark Torpedo was used less in the Typhoon and Thunderbolt tests, it still did more damage compared to Typhoon and Annihilate. The fact that this happened pretty much guarantees that I had some sort of damage buff that was inactive for that test. This was probably the Fatal Strike node that I mentioned earlier. With all that said, hopefully this information helps some aspiring Thunderbreakers out there. So, in final conclusion, the combo that you should be using in almost all circumstances when Primal Bolt is active is Thunderbolt and Typhoon. I don't even see Annihilate plus Typhoon having a niche because the damage is so negligible, it could have been user error, that the quality of life gained from being able to escape the end lag that Annihilate would put you in is just so much better. With all that said, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you later. Goodbye.